Voice Diary on October 2nd. A magic with the film on battle or short expressions. Uh, this is the third topic with the film and the teacher who teaches Vietnamese and also can communicate with in Korean. So uh, we have a uh, nine hour uh, lessons for one month. Then um, we have maybe topics uh, uh, around nine or seven topics. And first topic is uh, introduction. Second is uh, relationship and polling. And then third topic is a bad words, a bad words or a short expression between uh, friends or when we visit and other country. Um, it's very uh, complicated situation when we communicate with local people because uh, and then local people have no experience uh, uh, about the foreign people and then so um. Uh, they think uh, um, some people has a good uh, intention or good mind, but uh, uh, a few people or the other people's uh, thinking about and then a um, little bit and then foreign people, foreign travelers are uh, just uh, um, maybe I think not good and then and. Um, uh, the situation is very, very, very uh, widely, and then uh, we come because we um, as a tourist, and then we have um, many mistakes in culture, uh, the commonly, and then or the uh, bad manners when uh, interrupted people, and then um, there are many cases uh, it's possible when we cannot understand what they are talking, and then they can talk. And they can express bad, bad, bad expressions, uh, bad words. So, and that kind of expression will be um, shocked and then shocking, but not understanding. So, and then also the, between friends, we make a, a short and then to become uh, friends. And then we, uh, we, if we know the short expression, then we can understand and communicate better. For example, we're thinking about uh, native uh, uh, language, mother tongue. The situation is uh, the same as other languages. For example, when we speak about each other, or well, we think uh, we criticize somebody, we have a bad word in mind or out expression, and then both of them is also a network. And also between friends or the common people, we express and then very shortly and then and so simple word uh, making uh, makes sense and then then and to communicate with these simple words uh, idiom so and then and we are very uh, uh, flexible in spoken languages so and then this is the important part uh, bad words and short expression short words to communicate with each other so um in in Korean also we have some uh, when I studied with the, my language partners so we mentioned about uh, politely so and then that means uh, there are something expressions impolitely so and then uh, we talk about impolitely situation or when we try to communicate to each other but when we study the <clears throat> Um, formal language only, and then there are some informal language, and that is uh, uh, the other side of uh, is politely. That means uh, where something that impolitely it has, uh, and a formal language that is uh, informal language we have. So and then some of them we can study polite, politely expression or formal language. But we should learn about impolitely languages and then informal languages in communication, especially about this. We already know about that kind of expression when we speak in mother tongue and then our own language. And so um, uh, the 
impolitely uh, means uh, also important, and then um, informal language is very important. AI, why is uh, uh, informal language is important? AI. AI, why is informal language important? AI, why informal language important in communication between close, close friends or some uh, communities? And also, why people use bad words? Why people use uh, criticize uh, with the bad words? Uh, or what kind of bad words uh, are there in English? And then bad words uh, to criticize them. some of them. Can you name about uh, 20 bad words uh, in communication? Uh, and then make uh, the sentence with uh, these uh, words. Uh, thank you. OK. Uh, now I talk about uh, impolitely expression bad words, and also the short informal languages, short expression about this. And then um, I every day morning, I practice uh, with the voice diary to improve my uh, Vietnamese skill. And then here, and um, besides uh, and improving English as well. Um,
voice diary. Mm. In my voice diary on October 2nd, I reflected on how language plays a crucial role um, in communication, especially uh, when navigating between formal or an informal expression. This becomes more complex when traveling or living in different countries. Where local people may have a varying levels of experience interacting with foreigners and the misunderstanding of an offer due to cultural difference and the language barriers, especially when it comes to expression and manners. Um, magic with the phones. Our phones can sometimes feel magical, especially when using them to do to cultural and language gaps. When we are running low on battery, it's like we are racing against time, trying to make the most of our remaining connection. Using a phone, typically look up phrases, translate words, uh, or communicate across countries, feel like an instant bridge to understand it. Learning Vietnam and Korea. I'm currently studying with a teacher who teaches Vietnamese, but can also communicate in Korean. Our lessons are intensive nine hours a day and for uh, one month. And during this time, we've covered a variety of topics. The first lesson was on introduction and focus on relationship and making the phone calls. And we also discussed cultural differences when traveling. Informal language and the bad words. In our lessons, we touched on the complexity of informal language, including the use of the bad words and the short expression. When communicating with the local people, and especially in a new country, uh, there can be misunderstanding. Some local may not have much experience in interacting with the foreigners and they might interpret the language and the behavior differences. Better though, informal expressions between friends can sometimes strengthen and bond through the shared humor of understanding. However, in unfamiliar context, such words might cause confusion or offense. This is why it's important to learn not only polite and formal expression, but also informal language, including bad words, to fully understand how people communicate in day-to-day -day life. Why is informal language important? Informal language is crucial in communication because it affects how people truly speak in casual settings. It helps to build connection, especially among close friends or within specific community. Informal language is often more flexible and adaptable, allowing speakers to convey, um, convey emotion, humor, or irony in ways that formal language doesn't. Why do people use bad words? Bad words or swearings that are used for various reasons, expressing a strong emotion. People uh, often use bad words uh, to express uh, uh, anger and frustration um, or excitement to build, building uh, camera data among friends use, uh, using bad words can create a sense of the closeness and the shared understanding. And emphasizing a point, sometimes bad words are used to Add emphasis uh, or uh, exaggeration in a statement. Relief. Swearing can provide a quick emotional release in stressful situation. Or example of the bad of bad words in English. Here are a few common bad words in English that my practice and uh, use bad words in sentence. I can't believe this happened to what happened. That was a damn good movie. Stop acting like such an ass. Why is everything so fucked up today? In each of these cases, a bad word has a certain emotional intensity. To the same thing, emphasizing frustration and disbelief, or even administration. Uh, if you'd like to spend uh, any of these topics. Uh, ไหนฮะไหนไหนตั้งตั้งตั้งมองมือเจ้าเบาไงไหนตั้งมองมือโซงอยากเกี่ยวเงินโดยแต่ซื้อน้ำเจ้าเบาไปเจ้าปัญจ
polite จจางสมฮงจางสมอาจางสมบาฮงจางสมอายู่ในจูเน่นฟุกทับคนที่จูริกอกชิงส่งใจทักพวกเชียทักนุ่ยมาหนุ่ยจันจีเจ็ดเดียพงเดียเดียเดียเดียพงโตเทโตกินเงี้ยมทั้งอย่างส่งเกะส่งทักคุยหนุ่ยงบหน่อยสุขัดเกะเป๋เหมือนผ้าป่าเจ้าท่านน้องนุ้ยก็เทจันเดินนิ้วหิวหลังสักผู้ผู้เดินถอยสักถอยถอยกี่เดินถอยก็เททำสามีมอสักถอยตักเวทกี่หนุ่มเจ้าบุตรบุตรตักเสาทันวันหัวว่าน้องหนุ่มกี่ฟินสักเพชรอ่าสุนตาหนุ่มจันใจเราบุยตัวเสียงก็ขันทันจึง啊，很很多困难，始终得推，得推，得杂出，只拖到表贴。如果各国家感觉女人到了啊，莫该靠自己丢丢别。啊，学生别把这行，现在对人学不会，莫教人，在身边用功过，才教得放心。啊！白福哥啊，兄弟，在村阿嫂，新桥门内上摩啊，看啊，从对山内啊，兄弟大的嗯嗯，搞点牛猪的看鸟，白福到天那边就去，白白福就还啊，他从包梅盘下，把个五点台啊，兄弟公。讨论的是客观，呃，的文化，比如农奴风，当初把来出一天，来出一天，啊，从各百货，嗯，出头的的，特别是特特过农奴风，三重，啊，包括各特别市场，来出一天，来出一天，来出一天，来出一天，啊，来出一天。บ้านยุ่งลอยจุดบ้านยุ่งดูเห็นกันคีเจ้าเทปโอ้ยน้อยจันจี้เดียเดียเดียเดียเดียฟุ้งเดินเดียฟุ้งเดียฟุ้งดักเปิดอุโมงค์กุกจามวยอ่าก็เทศัยละนึ่งอ่ะคิวลำอ่ามอสงน้อยเดียกุ้งก็เทห้องโขนิ่งอ่ากินเงี้ยทงทักโบยโอยนุกโงยใบโปเทคิวสายเบนน้องนึ่งว่าฮันบีเอ่อลอยชุยเทห้องอ่านิ่งยูเพียงห้องสังสุงจะเบนเบก็เทตัวทีอ่า公婆莫看下，中国苏海河和苏秋月啊，从去年从他过一间房，变从用住那一个地盖下苏，那南湖都看，带那里做，带少从他那个湖空气用流行历史吧，从从。啊，马公家农奴红长松，包公家来取的，得修理着，卡梅梅叫贴，送库送上来。哎，少农奴红长松来，观众。啊，农奴红长松，只观众，总叫得比诺番安。莫爱读书，莫爱种家庭，风云中，莫入世中，啊，莫关系，得过那就莫爱办，但好种广东，啊，不得啊，我们红山那种，森林好，好看，就发莫爱莫选，带感受，带福，那福身边，要各马龙女长松。空气，再少某一类来使用来呃注意它
Mỗi nơi sử dụng lối suy thể vì chú lý dụ. Tình khiếu cảm xúc mạnh mẽ mong ngồi xung sử dụng lại chú thể để bày tổ sự thức trên thật vốn hốt phản kỷ. Tạo sự can thiệp dù bạn bè về sử dụng lối chú lý thể có thể thảo cảm giác cần giữ và sử hữu về chúng. À, nhân mạng mô quan điểm là đối kỳ lỗi chú thể được sử dụng để nhân mạng hồ công đại mô ý kiến giải thoa à, cảm xúc à, chú thể là có thể mang lại sự giả um, lỗi chú thể cho cảm xúc nhân à, sống sống nâng trình không khám thẳng ví dụ à, về lỗi chú thể lỗi chui thể mang tiền ăn mang tiền ăn à chui đây là môi về lỗi chui thể lỗi chui thể lỗi chui thể phổ biến trong tiền ăn là tâm bất cập bất cập sử dụng lỗi chui thể trong cáo tôi không thể tin như này sai ra chuyện quái gì thế à vô phim đồ thật là thuật là thuật ta là thuê dưỡng hành động như mô thăng ngũ hoa tại sao môi chiều hôm nay lại hôn lộn thế này trong môi trường à, hôm nay sự lối chủ thế tên bao một à, mức độ cảm xúc nhà tin cho câu nói nhân mang sự thật vốn à, hôn tình thương hôn tâm trí là như mốc Tôi có lối suy thế, nhưng lối suy thế à, à, thời gian như trước. Ok. Đúng.